In this series of four videos, you will learn about the advantages of using DevOps practices and the Visual Studio Team Services toolset on an example of a real InfoPulse project for the Ireland State Agency for Qualification and Quality Assurance. The Irish company responsible for education emerged as the result of the merging of four companies. As a result of this association, there is an infrastructure that actually consists of four isolated infrastructures with different stacks of technology. With the idea of cost optimization, the company decided to switch to the Microsoft technology stack and move to the Azure cloud completely. The first contact with the customer was at the end of 2015. They came to us with a performance problem regarding one of their services, SharePoint 2010. When our team solved it, the performance improved tenfold, and the customer began to interact with us on more complex and global issues. The customer's requirements were as follows. Optimize the infrastructure in terms of deployment to the Microsoft Azure Cloud, Reduce the technological stack to one Microsoft stack, rewrite all key systems using the Microsoft stack, and optimize the performance of all systems. The most challenging task was given to the DevOps team due to the fact that the infrastructure was very complicated, very distributed, and very voluminous. A huge number of technologies, different vendors, and different servers was to be described. From the point of view of the architect and a DevOps specialist, one of the interesting features of this project is the possibility to apply absolutely the whole range of necessary tools that Microsoft can provide, particularly the Azure platform. In fact, DevOps practice is primarily aimed at reducing the amount of routine daily work and fully automating it. And as a result, everyone benefits from this, such as technical specialists who are responsible for product development. The DevOps team provides interaction between analysts, testers, and developers and implements the necessary range of tools to enable these teams to communicate with each other. It establishes clear processes of interaction between teams, such as the processes of approval and coordination of the assembly, and the process of deploying this assembly to the customer's environment. All these processes are automated in such a manner that the whole team forgets about any infrastructure problems. Therefore, there are no problems with the assembly, deployment, or software version on various environments. For example, the same solution can be hosted in Azure in 10 different ways on 10 different types of services, and they will be completely different in value. The DevOps team will select the best value option so that this hosting is not excessive in terms of the customer's needs. First, for project management, we use Microsoft Team Foundation Server for on-premise solutions, or the Cloud Visual Studio Team Services toolset. In addition, the DevOps team uses Power BI capabilities to provide the project manager with a more detailed report on the workload of the team. The first point is, of course, the availability of this service from anywhere in the world which is very important for any person who travels on business trips or works from different locations. The second point is its ease of use. The third feature is the ability to work with different source code repositories, including Microsoft repositories as well as open source repositories. The fourth feature is, of course, the possibility of full automation and process implementation in continuous integration and continuous delivery. The fifth point is that it is a very convenient reporting tool that provides various metrics about the health of your product or a specific build. As a result, everything that could be automated was automated namely all the routine work in which a huge amount of people were involved. People received more time for more interesting tasks, and the downtime of the development team was reduced. Within the same period of time, the developers can do more without any downtime. The involvement of testers is decreased as well as their number because all the main processes and scenarios were automated. The customer support time is also reduced thanks to metrics and thanks to automated processes. That means that the customer now generally has to pay less money for the same services. 
For me, as an architect, the most valuable competency of the DevOps team is that it is called the infrastructure architect. In order to build the infrastructure optimally, we need to understand how and where it will be subsequently placed and what the cost of monthly support for the customer will be. I tell them what should be done and describe our goal. They explain how to place it in the best way. The result for the customer is greater transparency and predictability of all projects. That means the customer globally sees not only how some projects move, but also the strategy for infrastructure migration to Azure is generally implemented. As a result of the continuous integration and continuous delivery process integration, the time spent on a new version release, if a problem was detected, is decreased from two days to three hours.